Well, we're finally back for another Soul Lock date linked adventure with our favorite Pokemon games. Having trained extensively in the land of Sinnoh, my boyfriend has deemed me finally ready to tackle a Heart Gold and Soul Silver randomized Soul Link with him. I am a girl. Yeah, I am a boy. We're excited to be back into it, but also a little nervous because of the uphill slog from last time. I'll take my chances with the bird so Taryn can have an Eevee. E we got dealt a pretty tough hand at the start of that last adventure, so we chose to go into this one with an air of cautious optimism. With that being said, it's time to start how every Pokemon journey does with picking out our starters. Well, Taryn, chivalry isn't dead. I'll let you go first. Ladies first. Okay. Let me do a quick run through of the rules of a cooperative Nuzlocke for everyone. First of all, every Pokemon encounter in the game is completely randomized. Let's oh. see what your first one is. A Krabby! <laughs> <laughs> okay. A wingle. Oh no! Uh, we're off to a great start. The reason for this is that every encounter we get is linked to our partners, meaning that if one of my Pokemon dies, it's taking whatever it's linked to on his team with it. Cloyster. <laughs> Two water types, and I have a water type, so you went right? Alright, let's uh -huh. go. Need a Reno. Uh -huh. Poison type. We take turns for who gets the first encounter because we have to make sure that there's only one of each primary typing on either of our teams. Blissey! Blissey. Yanma. Since I'm linked to my boyfriend in this challenge, to keep with the theme, our pairs are wedlocked. And so far as for each pair, if one Pokemon is a boy, then he has to meet a girl. Since we got some questions about it in the last video, static Pokemon encounters like gifts and eggs can't be rerolled, so they marry whoever they want. I'm looking at Nidorino and I'm like, I think I got my choice. I mean, it's poison type. Uh -huh. That's like a pretty like uh, unusual typing, right? Like, I mean, Nidorino's better than a fucking deli bird. Oh yeah. Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> hey, that deli bird was a champion. Terry. He was. He was. Okay. I almost think go with the blissey. That's kind of Take your thinking. chances with the egg. Let's and do it. it's pink. Having done one of these before, I think I'll remember the rules better this go around. But that is yet to be determined. Oh, he's so. <laughs> I forgot Blissey's that he follows. Oh. For anyone who watched our last adventure, you may remember that we ended up having a surplus of water and normal type Pokemon, and consequently struggled to find pairs that could fit on our team. Making a full team of six Pokemon was like finding a needle in the haystack. Ooh, first randomized item? A mind plate. That's cool if I find a psychic type, I guess. But with an extra 107 Pokemon added to the Pokedex this go around, the pool of possible encounters is much more flushed out. Not to mention, many older Pokemon that were considered subpar have had a glow up and are much more viable thanks to new evolutions. All in all, we both had high hopes for what our Johto journey could be. Our initial suspicions that pairs would be slim pickings again was debunked rather quickly, as right from the start, we realized how different this playthrough was going to be. What? <laughs> you have to go against a Deoxys for... Oh no. It's rapping at me? Just from running the errand for Professor Elm and getting a little sneak peek of what was hiding in the grass. There is some good stuff in the grass, Taryn. We could tell we were in for a treat this time. This doesn't count as our first encounter yet because we can't catch one. <gasps> I am so excited though. <gasps> okay, okay. <gasps> there is potential in this grass. <gasps> oh my a god! Little baby fox! Baby fox! Man, I feel like a kid in a candy store and I'm getting my hopes up over here. I don't want to get my expectations too high, but so far, Taryn, I've seen a Piplup, a Heatran, a Rotom, another Bayleaf. I'm telling you, like, there's some good stuff in the grass. Of course, just encountering the Pokemon isn't simple enough, as we have to actually catch them too. Unfortunately, my boyfriend clearly hasn't learned his lessons from our last adventure, as it appears some things never change. Okay. Come on, please give me a penguin. Please, <gasps> please, please. I'll take it. I'll take oh! it. It's even better. It's even better than what I wanted. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Please don't. Oh my god, Taryn. I think I just knocked it out. Taryn, I've repeated history. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and you were so excited Taren, about that Taren, one. Listen. Don't we just throw them from. Taryn, wait. Wait. Before you say anything else. Uh huh. The ball didn't shake once. Even with that first pair thrown away rather unceremoniously, it was hardly anything to lose sleep over. There were so many great Pokemon in the starting area, and lots of diverse types at that. As salty as I was that he lost us that pair, he reminded me that you never know what might be waiting for you around the corner. <gasps> no! That's so cool! <gasps> what? Oh. Oh my god. My god. Is this your encounter? What do I do? Do I just 
Do I just go for it? Go for it! Holy shit. a powerful pair right off the bat. In a weird way, I think this is the game making up for giving me a hoe early on in Fire Red. But I can't even complain since Lugia is paired with one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. I'd say that was the craziest thing that happened that night, but with all the other encounters available at the start of the game, anything was possible. I'm just gonna like run back and forth right here. Here we go. We get a, a bomb of snow. Interesting. Okay. Grass ice. Okay. Oh, 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 I think mine might be legendary. <gasps> oh my goodness. That's literally the one thing, though, that Bronzer's like. I mean, what's he gonna have? He's probably gonna have ancient power, so I'll just throw a ball. You have hypnosis. You could put him to sleep. I could put him to sleep, yeah. But I don't need to! to. She doesn't need to! <gasps> oh, God, oh, God. We had plenty of choices with the pairs we encountered this time, and having four Pokemon going into the first gym was such a stark contrast to where we were last time. Needless to say, it hardly mattered with the powerhouses we were packing. I'll also remind you that you are a Groudon that is four times his level. <laughs> I know that you're a little traumatized because of what happened last time, but this time, the Groudon is on your side. With our legendary Pokemon on the team, we made light work at the first gym and felt a huge confidence boost. As you can probably imagine, us having a little muscle early on meant we could play a lot more casually. In our last Soul Link, every single day was a battle as we were roughing it for most of the playthrough. Some evenings, we just straight up played something else instead of Pokemon because we were so stressed out about losing that we wanted to avoid it entirely. All this is to say that it was a breath of fresh air not having an anxiety attack every time a bug kid prepared to send out another Pokemon. And we enjoyed a more laissez-faire style of play we were playing kind of late so i don't really remember i mean i remember this guy of course He's just as confused as I am. Okay. Probably what we were both most excited for in Heart Gold and Soul Silver was that it has the follower Pokemon in it. Sniffing at the floor. <laughs> it's cool enough already that your Pokemon follow you all around the game, but add in the fact that we're using a randomizer to the mix, and suddenly we have all kinds of hilarious opportunities to have some really crazy Pokemon hanging out with us. Groudon's giving me a hug. In our last playthrough, we randomized TMs to up the chaos factor, but it totally backfired when we realized that the standard moveset on a lot of Pokemon were so weak. We did not repeat that mistake this time, but we did still randomize the team location, so there'd still be some wild factors to what moves we'd find. I got an earthquake. I'm putting on my grout on, like, right now. Yeah, that's great. Let me take a minute to tell you about our incredible four-man team that carried us through the first two gym battles. Between Bronzer and Groudon, there really wasn't much that could stand in my way. Bronzong is an amazing <laughs> Pokemon with an even more amazing typing in Gen 4. His two weaknesses are usually ground and fire, but thanks to his ability Heat Proof, he resisted fire-type attacks. That coupled really well with Groudon, who has the ability Drought, which boosted fire-type attacks and weakened water ones. Oh yeah, the sun. The sun weakens the water, too. <laughs> I love that. That's so good good you know i don't think about the defensive ap application of that but that's pretty good the only thing it'd be bad against if i'm going with a fire type right yeah because then they would get powered up because you can't really benefit from that yourself but let's be honest there's a lot less fire types than water types out there that's true what's a mag that's a fire type <laughs> With Stab, Earthquakes, and Sunny Day boosted Lava Plumes, there really wasn't much that could stand up to Groudon, and anything that could got completely walled off by Bronzer. Holy shit, look at this. 100 power Earthquake, 90 something for Lava Plume, right? Yeah. 80 for 80. Lava Plume? And I have Drought, so it's like Sunny. And the Drought takes it up from 80 to 120. <sighs> So good, Terry. This is correct. On the other side of the pairings were Lugia and Obama Snow. Under normal circumstances, his Obama Snow would have been pretty underwhelming, but that changed when he realized that his Lugia knew Weather Ball. Weather Ball takes on the type of whatever weather the battle has and doubles in power as well. Since Obama Snow came with the ability Snow Warning, he can whip up a hailstorm at the beginning of each fight, giving my boyfriend access to a hundred power ice type attack at only level 15. With how many things ice hits super effectively against, he was able to completely carve his way through any train are unfortunate enough to challenge him to a battle. I'm about to hit him with a weather ball, an ice weather ball. 
Look at this turret. I love oh. the weather ball strat. It's Your so good. Your weather ball strat is so good. Oh, I just love that combo. It was pretty easy going for a while, and we were having a real grand time together. I was gonna say last last time was like a rags to riches story, right? Yeah. This is like the riches to hopefully not rags <laughs> story. We captured the new encounters in the next few routes, less out of necessity and more out of obligation. It's funny how last time we like had to fight so hard to get a full team of six, and this time I haven't even thought once like. I know. This was quickly turning more into a road trip than a challenge run for the two of us. This is your boyfriend? Uh, no, my name is Boy, ma'am. I can see how you may have misunderstood her because it's very confusing. <laughs> Since the first two gyms were such a breeze, we started feeling more and more comfortable with our teams. Yeah, I gotta try to remind myself that, like, little Elekid is a baby Pokemon. Like, yes, that's my electric type, but he's also a child. It was around this point that we started talking about how this playthrough was going to be an absolute joke compared to the previous. Last time, all we did was put out fires from start to finish, so it was nice to take things a little bit easier this go around. The problem is our comfort quickly turned into cockiness, and that's exactly when smoke started forming on the horizon. If either of us had been paying attention, we might have remembered that where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> what? What? I just talked to Sudowoodo and it said, your Pokemon has caught the scent of smoke. Like, is there a fire somewhere? Is there, like, is there an emergency? That's what, very confusing. What should we be doing right now? Is it, is it, is it considered irresponsible not to let the authorities know? By now, we were hardly even thinking about the third gym, and we're instead planning out stuff for way down the line. At this point, we weren't even sure we could die anymore, and walked into the third gym completely unaware of what was waiting for us. And let me tell you, Whitney did not take kindly to us underestimating her. Of course, the higher you fly, the further you have to fall back down. Oh god, she's gonna do her little jump. I love her little the jump. The dreaded hop. <laughs> Chatot. An Ampipon. That's interesting. Is Chatot just a bird? Yeah, it's normal flying. That wasn't too bad, but the mill tank's coming out next. Let's see what she's got. Wall rain. Oh, okay. Maybe he doesn't have sheer cold, right? Like, that's, that's my first <laughs> hope. I think this thing's gonna weigh a hell of a lot more than Elekid, so I'm gonna go for the low kick, Terry. Yeah. It's gotten me this far. Let's see what it does. Wow. Oh, that did like nothing. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we Jules. paired him right back. Let's, uh. Had a Lumberry? Oh no. Maybe Nito Jr.? Nito Jr. seems a little more. Mm hmm. That body slam, though. That was a crit. <laughs> this thing's terrifying. I feel like I should just go to Lugia. Let's just let's just go to Lugia. Stop messing around and go to Lugia. Water gun's not gonna do much to Lugia. Dragon rush him. Nice dragon rush. That did like nothing. Andy has ice ball. That was a crit. That was a crit. That was a crit. I am so like okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. So ice ball did a ridiculous amount. Well, can you heal and then maybe it won't crit? I mean, yeah, that's probably safest, right? Like let's just get to get our HP up. Mm -hmm. I don't have that many heals, so I was trying to like be stingy with the potions, but. That's fair. As long as he doesn't crit, we should be able to safely... Get a hit off. Okay, he See, misses, missed, which missed. is That's nice, too. Yeah. Now, so do we risk do... missing, or do we go for the safe bet with Gust? It's Stab. I guess we could just go Gust. Yeah, just see what it does. So we can at least hit him. Yeah. Jesus, Wall Rain. Oh, that did, like, nothing. I think I just double... That was a crit. That was not a crit. That was not a crit? Oh... What? It's a five turn move like rollout ice ball. Oh. So it's like it's building up. Oh. He missed, that's why it restarted. So who can eat an ice ball? Shamrock probably? Right? <sighs> I'm not sure what to do. I forgot that that's what ice ball does. You already won. I won. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we have to go to Shamrock. Yeah. We have to risk Shamrock. And where does that put us though? What, is, what can Shamrock do to it? 
Because if let's assume Shamrock goes down, who do we even send out? We're gonna have another Ice Ball to deal with. Mm -hmm. I, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to just. We're gonna have to risk it. Mm -hmm. We're we're not gonna make it out of here without a casualty. At, from the looks of it, I mean, we we need to just we no, need to just go, for, go for it. We just need go to go for, for it. it. A decision has been made. Shamrock. Come on, Shamrock. Come on, Shamrock. Come on, Shamrock. Oh, no. no! That was so much damage. I mean, we knew that was going to happen, but, like, we're still in a really shitty position, right? Yeah. Give I would imagine ends. that was his second to last one. So he probably has, probably has one, one more. more. I'm going to go out to him, and we're going to hope he's faster. Yep. We lost Pseudo Wudo already. Double kick. Nice. Nice. I, I, think, I, think, we're, I think we're golden. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh. Mm. No. Nito. God. But now we have a safe switch in, right? Yeah, we're in the same position we were last time. We have to risk Maelstrom and just hope she doesn't heal. Yeah. Also, also, Ice Ball should be done. Ice Ball should Hypothetically, be done. Hypothetically, Ice Ball's done. So we gust. So there's a super potion. Which, I don't know how to take him down. Like, I don't have anything to hit him with. There's the ice ball. <gasps> we're, we're starting it up again. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the, here's the play. Here's the play. It's, it's at one. It's at we're going to go to Everest. It's going to get to two. Yeah. We have to Razor Leaf. Yeah. There's the hail. Not that that really does anything. Okay, that's two. That's going to hurt. Okay, but we can, we can take one. Mm -hmm. We can take one more, probably. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much... Do we go for the grass whistle, put it to sleep to reset the thing? What's the... What's the What's the accuracy of grass whistle? It's not great, but it might be... 55. Oh. It's a coin toss. Mm. I think we can live one more ice ball. So hopefully we're faster. No, he's faster. Oh, no. Okay. What do we do? I'm not sure what to do here. I'm trying to keep Grout on and Lugia alive. Because if we could rebuild, I'd rather do it with them. So, we're already not faster with Everest. We could para heal Jules, so Jules would be faster and we could low kick try to finish it, but we're gonna lose we're gonna lose Grout on. There's nothing we can do. It's either that or we lose. Okay. Like we flat out lose right now. And this might not even work, but this is the best we can do. <sighs> that sucks. That sucks. Okay. Hmm. We should outspeed. And maybe we get a crit low kick or something, right? Yeah. Oh, that's brutal. Did you see how much it lived on? No. Oh. This is unbelievable. Okay. Well, we need 100% accuracy move. I'll go with Gus. I'll go with Gus. I think we lose. We just lose. I can't afford to miss, but I also can't afford to just use weak attacks. I mean, this is a Hail Mary. Miss. Yeah. There's, there's nothing we can do. We're just gonna lose. And we're getting willed by the hail now. One crit would have completely changed the fight. This is literally the last turn. We have to crit or something. I think we have to crit. We have to crit. I don't even know if healing's worth it. I don't think healing's worth it. Right? I don't think so. We have to we have to hope for a crit. Or, you know, something. Flinch? A flinch? Flinch. flinch. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, so it started at one, so heal, 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 heal. Oh yeah, he's at one. He's at heal, one. He's heal, at heal, heal, he's heal. One. We're gonna give it a shot. Okay. He misses? He misses. Wh where was that when you were running through my entire team? Tsunami gust. So now, yeah, yeah, all we all we have is Gust. 
Oh my god, okay. Holy fuck. We, we pulled it out. But we have to go to the drawing board. Holy shit. I hate Whitney. Well, that was an absolute bloodbath. We have Maelstrom and Bronzer. We've been humbled. And I think it goes without saying that we were now in some pretty hot water. Ignoring the fact that my boyfriend just lost four of our five team members to a single fight, there's now the issue of figuring out where we go from here. I guess this time around I get to lose all the Pokemon, right? That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> oh no! I'm, Zero to five. I'm in four. trouble. I probably don't have room to talk after how many deaths I had last time, but I'll speak my mind anyways. We lost our starters. We lost everything. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Taryn. I crowd on. I know. I know. My favorite thing was just walking with him. Let's just say wall reigns everywhere better sleep with one eye open from now on. He felt some pretty immense shame over the loss of my crowd on, and the survivor's guilt of still having his Lugia weighed heavily on him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna make it up to you somehow, Taryn. Whether it was embarrassment or sheer determination, he was hell-bent on finding me a suitable replacement for my once and mighty legendary. Although, that motivation quickly translated to recklessness, and I had to bring him back down to Earth for a reality check before the lock ended thanks to his bravado. Maybe I should have gone to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> okay, I just- <laughs> You lose four Pokemon. Oh, I lost my snow warning Don't weather go. ball strat. Don't go- oh. I'm chastising you right now. Don't interrupt me. You lose four Pokemon, don't go to the Pokemon Center, and then just waltz your ass up and like, I'm gonna try this double battle when we have three level five Pokemon and you are injured from the massacre. <laughs> In my defense, I was doing this because I was trying to make you feel better. Well, I would feel better after using the restroom. <laughs> as much as it sucked losing my legendary, I can count my lucky stars that I ended up with a solid surviving team member like Bronzer though. Regardless what happened, that was enough Pokemon for one day. And the two of us ended this play session feeling a bit more humble about our Johto journey than before. All right, we got a bike. Look, we lost four Pokemon, but we got a bike. <laughs> things, are, things are looking up. <laughs> we were like flying high and the game was like, you need to calm, slow your roll down, you two. With fresh heads and a beaming optimism for what still could be, we set out to continue our journey. Okay, we're brand back. new day. Uh, I'm filled with hope and determination. Um, we're not looking too hot though. <laughs> After punishing our supplies with what little funds we had left, we started to realize how thinly stretched we were for resources. I can buy one potion. Do I have anything I can sell? Anything valuable? Oh, I think I actually have some stuff I can sell. Because I found that revive, remember? I'm going to sell gonna this green that. scarf. I can't sell my bike. All right. <laughs> Probably in a pretty bad spot if we're at the point where we're considering selling our bike. <laughs> I got to see what the hell she's spending all this money on. A berry? Seriously? A oh, no, mom. Oh god. It's just a bunch of fruit. Uh-oh. Mom. Oh god. Someone needs to... Okay. We need to have a talk with mom. <laughs> My mom's calling. Hi mom. Not great. We pushed forward to the next town ahead, but couldn't help bringing up the devastation from the night before. <laughs> I love the just immediate mood change. What I the hell did am you get? fighting a funk. I uh, I'm currently dealing with a girlfriend that is no longer has a growl on, and it and it shows. After sifting through the box to browse what pairs were available, we grabbed a handful that fit our team and set to work hunting for more. That's, yeah, that's not a bad team. And then you've the stretch. egg. I feel like that's a pretty decent team, though. We're just gonna have to get them leveled up. And They'll put in work. The only good thing that came of all of this was we could finally make it up to Ecrateek City and find a ton of new encounters along the way. <gasps> it's happening! Oh my god! It's finally happening! Your egg! Diddly -diddly. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <gasps> Dragon type. Dragon! We can use that with Kingler! Can we just add that to the team automatically? Do we have a water type? I don't think so. So yeah, we could do dragon and water. We didn't find anything groundbreaking, but the trainers on the route gave us a chance to level up our new team. If you had a trainer class, you would totally be Lady Tarn. Mm-hmm. Or like Beauty, I think is what it is. Beauty Tarn. Yeah. 
damn straight. That'd be Juggler Noinky. With our ragtag team looking feisty, we decided we were ready to tackle the gym. But first, we had to clear out the burn tower. All right, let's hit up the Pokemon Center, and then this rival battle will be a really good, like, uh, kind of test for how this team performs, right? Oh shit, he's got a Registeel. Do you fire? Okay. Like a fire move. Uh, do I have fire? I have ground. I might use ground on him with a little piglet. He's using curse? Oh, Christ. This could be bad. Hit him with a magnitude. Oh, he's setting up, Taren. Need to hit him big. Paralysis is really Dude, five, man, can we get like a magnitude above? Like we need like an eight or nine. He keeps cursing. His attack and defense are through the roof right now. Magnitude six again. Come on. I'm starting to think he only knows curse. <laughs> um, magnitude six again. He's going for Metal Claw. Oh my god, Taren. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> what do I do? What do I do? Um. I think my best bet is to just try Magnitude again. Hope he gets Parrot or something. And if not, hope for like a high magnitude because I've only yeah, gotten like you fives go and first? sixes. Do you go first? Yes, curse lowers your speed, so his okay. speed is in the. It's completely Yeah, do going. magnitude. Do magnitude. <sighs> what? Paralysis? No. Oh my god. <sighs> this is not happening already, Taryn. Are you kidding me? <sighs> I don't know if we should blame our team or Registeel for that one, because by comparison, the rest of the rival's Pokemon were an absolute joke. I'm so over this. Man, I liked... Jack, now is not a good time. We just lost a member of our team. Dugtrio is dead. It's not- Dugtrio isn't even in box yet, and you're asking for dinner? This ungrateful cat. Either way, we looked at our situation and realized we pretty much had no choice but to fight Morty, so we could finally get Surf and ideally some new encounters along with it. Maybe we'll get some good encounters after at Critique. We, we can fly to Goldenrod and get the Eevee from Bill, and that might be something good. We are keeping a positive attitude. With Morty toppled and Surf acquired, we were able to progress all the way through Olivine City into Cyanwood Island. With plenty of new encounters along the way, we were sure at least something we'd find could join our roster. Things aren't looking as great. Just do some fishing. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems like we've used up all our luck already in the early game. Man, I've been at the beginning of the game, we are finding like Prinnies and like Charizards and stuff. After shuffling around the teams, a bit of a couple awkward weaknesses stood out to the two of us. Probably the most blatant of all was a crippling weakness to ice on his team, as more than half of its members were flying types. Well, having Locked three out. flying types is pretty rough. That's fair. And then, of course, having a grass type that's also weak to ice. I mean, I was weak to ice no matter what, Taryn, because... Yeah. My dragon was weak to ice as well. Pretty much the only Pokemon he had that could stand up to ice was Exploit. Unless he wanted to go for a Hail Mary and land a crit mock punch with Ladybug. Oh my god, come on Clement. Five punches, please. We are gonna be here all day. Oh no. Oh, it knows soft boiled. It's safe to say we were both feeling a little dissatisfied with our current team lineup. Baton pass. I don't have anything to baton pass out. 18 power and 85% chance to hit? Like, what is Comet Punch? <laughs> what is this move? This is so garbage. It sounded so cool when I learned it. I was like, yeah, Comet Punch. <laughs> If things weren't bad enough, while my boyfriend was hunting around for a Pokemon to buy potions in Cyanwood, he accidentally stumbled backwards into a battle with Yusin. Oh shit, he actually challenged me? I wasn't expecting him to fight me. Oh, he only has three Pokemon at least. Crawdont. Oh god, it's another Registeel. Oh. Oh no. I guess I'll just go to Jukebox and set up Howls. He literally resists everything I have because I don't have ground anymore. 
Maybe surf. Just do surfs. Oh god. Oh, he's doing it again, Taryn. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? I don't even know what to do about this. And he's up. Metal Claw. He's at plus two. Oh god, okay. What resists steel? Water resists steel. I don't have a water type. I guess I just go back to him and surf. Terran, Registeel completely runs through my team. I don't have enough potions to make this happen. Oh god. Oh. He's just setting up more and more. I need like a like like a lucky crit or something. Yeah. This is proof that like my team is st struggling though. Uh. Oh man, he's going to kill Jukebox. Who's Jukebox linked to? Shelby. Oh no. I can't lose Shelby for you. Okay, hold on. Who's worth healing? I'm terrified of how much a Metal Claw is gonna do. Superpower? Oh shit, that's super effective. I'm about to lose Jukebox. What, what can I even say? I don't even know what to say. What would you have done? Nothing. God, I just lost another Pokemon tank. And we missed the sleep powder. He goes for another curse. Oh, this is not happening. Seriously? I have no potions. Okay, he's asleep again. God. It's like Reggie Rock would be fine. Reggie Ice would be fine. But I've encountered two Registeels. That does nothing. I don't even know if it's worth staying in. Like, I need to go to something else and hit him. What do I hit him? Maelstrom, I guess? He resists Psychic. He resists Dragon. He resists Flying. We have good defense. Here's the superpower. We quad resist that. It'll lower his attack, but not his defense. Okay. Weather ball, I get like I don't even know what to hit him with. Probably extra sensory because it's stabbed, even though it's resisted. Okay. Oh god, he's just powering up. Okay, he's gone. But so is jukebox. God damn it. How does this keep happening? He can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> It was at this point that I was looking at him like, seriously? You're supposed to be our guy. Like, I'm usually crawling to him for help, not the other way around. I just lost another Pokemon, and I'm upset. I basically laid things out and was like, we need to turn the ship around before things get any worse. But not two minutes later, we walked into Chuck's gym, and then this happened. Oh god, how much is that gonna hit me for? I just lost Rapunzel. <sighs> I'm just gonna mock punch and hope that that finishes it. Okay, we got a crit mock punch from Clement and put it down, but we we lost another Pokemon. Good work, Clem. Who did we lose? Rapunzel and Kaiser Seahorse. I would have been fine if I had potions. And that's why I suggested potions. Be it because a lack of potions takes to spending all our money on Pokeballs, or just plain bad luck, that loss was the last straw. Why does mom always call at the worst possible times? I started pumping the brakes on his grand plans and told him that we were switching to doing things my way for the next gym battle. Luckily, we can now fly thanks to our victory against Chuck, so backtracking to previous locations to go after all our available counters was fair game. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's going into battles underprepared. 
Uh-huh. We were gonna need to pull out all the stops in order to make this magic happen. And that meant fishing in all the towns and headbutting as many trees as we could. I refused to challenge another gym battle until we'd exhausted all our available options for encounters. You just have to work with what you have. I mean, we're dealing with that right now, right? Like we're yeah. sitting here. I I've never in a million years would have been like, oh yeah, I'll use wish cash. But look at Barbosa yeah. just bombing Rhyperior's Terran. Like, this is the game we're playing. The good news is, with the medicine delivered to Fleece, we opened up the Safari Zone. Unfortunately, the Safari Zone wasn't actually randomized, which was kind of lame. But even still, the routes leading up to it were. We finally opened the Safari Zone. Oh my god, wait, so we can go get a Safari Zone encounter? Oh, oh yeah, that's actually a good point. That's huge. Now keep in mind that my boyfriend's the one that's all power on his team, and I'm the one with the strong defenses. The reason he keeps losing Pokemon is because of his weakness to steel, ice, and rock types. Three flying types is just asking for trouble, and it was pretty clear the real rival for his playthrough was Registeel. Oh, are you kidding me, man? Oh, How many of these goddamn- god. I have a ground type this time, at least. But this thing is gonna start setting up curses. I just know it. Goes for the metal claw. Man, I am so done with Registeel. I. Come on. Seven? Okay. Surely. Yeah. Oh my god. Just be done with this damn Registeel. I am so. If I see another Registeel, Terran, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. I can't take it anymore. Holy. Ugh. On the other hand, I can wall anything that gets thrown at me, but I can't dish out anything in return. So with that said, would you like to see our encounters on the way to the Safari Zone? Yeah, it's a shuckle. I got a shuckle. Is that rock bug or bug rock? Okay. Come on, something. Something. We need, actually, we need something for Tarny more than me. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> actual hell. I'm not superstitious, but it's starting to feel a little like the game is rigged in his favor. Look how big it is. It's like giant. Is this just karma for the hell I put him through last playthrough? Because I've been trying to make it up to him. I've been a good girl this playthrough and I've been on my best behavior. I've played smart, I've played safe, and I'm not even asking for a legendary. I just need something good. Yo. That's so good. Who do we have to put away? Who's your water? <gasps> oh my god! What is going on? I don't need this. My <laughs> girlfriend does. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, but we can actually use this because we can literally take off the one pair. Oh yeah, water and then electric. Put it back on water electric. You know what else sucks though is I removed my one non-flying type for another flying. Oh type. no! Splash is back and he actually gets to be fully evolved. <laughs> Getting Splash was a big boon, but there were still a few more encounters out there for us. Unfortunately, adding Splash to our roster puts yet another flying type on his team. And although it's an amazing one, he still wins in the presence of rocket ice types. We're reunited. Still not satisfied and refusing to fight Jasmine in the state of our current team, we decided to head for Mahogany Town and see if we couldn't get a Lake of Rage encounter early. Then on the other side of Mount Mortar, this happened. To be fair, we can't this resurrect them. This is a legendary. This is a legendary. What? What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is this serious? Excitement, confusion, and a little bit of jealousy all came flooding over me at once. Most of all, I was just trying to figure out how to make this pair fit in our team. Of course, I was over the moon to finally have a cool legendary encounter. And then in true boyfriend fashion, he had to go and one-up me with one of his own. I feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. <laughs> Even when I have no clue what's going on, I get excited if I see him this excited. And there's a good reason for all this hype. I'm still not over the fact that you have three legendary Pokemon on your team. As he explained to me, the cool thing about fighting an Arceus is that its ability, multi-type, allows us to change it to any type we see fit. If he can find the corresponding play to match that type, that is. For now, he's got to keep it normal typing. But being able to bend the very fabric of this challenge is a pretty fun idea to toy around with. And with the literal creator of the universe on his team, he has no excuse to lose another Pokemon for the rest of this playthrough. Oh, he is here. We could get the we could get the Gyarados encounter already. Whoa. <gasps> my encounter's a mess, Brit. Oh my god. Okay, I have to come over there. 
Oh my god, Terran. Of course the guy that's lost like seven Pokemon keeps getting rewarded for it. Yeah, I was about to feel like they keep rewarding you for it. <laughs> With some new punch on the team, we finally decided we were ready to tackle Jasmine and get our next gym badge. She was pretty light work thanks to the new powerhouse on our team, but my boyfriend was still keeping an eye out for another teammate. It's amazing how like a couple legendary Pokemon can really like turn the mood around. <laughs> so what do you give the guy who already had everything? It's no fault of the electrode, so it makes me sad. Let's split the job. Don't mind if I do. This is three static encounters, Taryn. I'm no pun intended. so excited. The answer is something to hit a rock or ice type with. I mean, I would just... Nothing would make me happier than getting a fighting type. And honestly, you can have the fighting type. I just don't understand why we don't have a fighting type yet. Right. Fighting type... If I had a fighting type for any of those Registeel battles... None of this would have happened. At this point, a fighting type would pretty much make all his dreams come true. Because not only would it annihilate any ice or rock types, it would finally give him an answer to the dreaded steel types. Larvitarn? Aww. My favorite. I love little Larvitarn. Oh, a rock type would be cool too. Rock fighting pair. I would love a rock fighting pair. For now, he'll just have to settle on passing judgment with his god's divine power instead. God, the rocket grunts? Oh, like the mini skirts? No! Oh. <laughs> How many? Oh! God damn it! And I was gawking over the mini skirts on that? Shit. Good lord, I am so sick of Registeels showing up and ruining my day, Taryn. Yeah. Yeah, crumble at the feet of God. <laughs> Not even mini skirts can stand up to the power of Arceus. Jesus. Even with some of the more glaring weaknesses, these teams were finally starting to come into their own. This, I'm having fun again, Taryn. Yeah. I know it kind of sucked the past two days, but now I'm having fun again. Having more legendary Pokemon in my party than like regular Pokemon at the moment may have something to do with my <laughs> change in mood. You don't say. We made quick work of Price and hit up the radio station to finally take out Team Rocket for good. <laughs> I like Luster Perch. At this point, there were only a handful of Pokemon that our opponents could throw at us that could put us on the back foot. Why is this so beefy? I The amount of minimizing chances and curse using Registeels, I swear, like I this playthrough has been unbelievable. It's nothing but chances, registeels, and mini skirts. And even the bigger, scarier legendaries were light work things for our powerhouses. There's nothing to be afraid of, Taren. Seeing a Mewtwo doesn't mean we turn and run away. It means we roll our sleeves up. Usually the rocket grunt battles are pretty underwhelming, but since this is all randomized, it's kind of luck of the draw which Pokemon you'll see. Mom, this is such a bad time. Oh my god. She always calls it the worst time, Taren. Yep. Both in and out of the game. I will concede that although he's encountered a ton of legendary wild encounters, he's also had to face off with them in trainer battles a lot more than I do too. Taren, you literally fought like every baby Pokemon in existence just now. You fought a Tyrogue, a, a Trico. Trico, a oh! Nidoran female, and now you're fighting an Iglybuff. And I was fighting Mewtwo's and all kinds of crazy shit. So I don't even want to hear any complaints about how I'm the one losing all the Pokemon anymore. <laughs> oh! The good news is that he has all the know-how to deal with it. It's safe to say that we've pretty much been coasting through the last half of the game at this point, and we're finally feeling like we're back at the top of the food chain. Yay. Man, the team is really coming together right now. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, Hestia just went down. Articuno crit me with ancient power. <sighs> I was just saying that the team's coming together. What? And it lived? It lived on like that little yeah. bit of- Oh yeah. no. And no burn. Okay, well. Uh, I think we just lost Clement. <laughs> this rival keeps stealing our Pokemon. Alright, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. So, hold on. Um... I don't suppose Simple still has Quick Attack. Yeah, Simple has, has Quick Attack. Yeah, so you can just Quick Attack it with Simple. Simple's pretty tanky too, so mm -hmm. I don't think you're in any danger. There you go. Man, that's a bummer though. 
very frustrated. Twitch stream is not happy about Hestia going down. Chat don't blame him. Arceus. Arceus. Ooh. Pulled me down with gravity. So yeah, he's gonna try to earth power you. Try to switch to someone else. I don't think earth power is gonna do that much, honestly. Okay. Lesser Force did not do that much. Should I Dragon Breath? Um, Dragon Breath might paralyze him. Yeah, try Dragon Breathing him. He used Punishment, and it did that much. Should I heal up, or should I... I don't know if I can take it out in one hit. Yeah, maybe just heal up then. I'm over here fighting the rifle battle and are you at the game corner? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm so close to winning this one. Okay, I don't want to distract you from What's that. What's wrong? Like, I was really hoping for a clean run let's go around because of what happened last time, but I guess that was asking for too much. This has to be a two. This has to be a two. Nice. There you go. And we did it, okay. Wow! You I'm a genius. All right, let's go uh, replace our dead Pokemon now. Thankfully, we had several fire type pairs on standby, so the pair was easily replaced. With randomized items, finding a fire stone for poor little Growl felt impossible as it was, but evolution stones weren't the only items we were on the hunt for. Well, I mean, if it makes you feel any better, you're now no longer the only one who's lost Pokemon. <laughs> That's a good point. I did. That does make me feel somewhat better. Thank you, Taryn. <laughs> I did it for you. Dragon normal type was the pairing for our Latios and Arceus, but if we could find one of the rarer types of plates, we could change Arceus into something else and finally add a sixth pair to the team. The game has been teasing him by giving me tons of Arceus plates throughout our journey, but the biggest troll of all was that the few he's found have already had a spot on our roster like Water or Psychic. The splash plate. I could turn Arceus into a water type. That's really cool. We have splash already though. So we do. I can't <laughs> really make use of it, plate. but... Man, I gotta find, like, an actual good one. We both held out hope that an Arceus plate would be the key to building a full team of six Pokemon. Yeah, I guess going out of my way for the hidden items is totally worth it, because you never know when you're gonna find a plate for Arceus. Insect plate! I could turn him into <gasps> a bug! That's yes! so cool! Yes! Ah! We could- wait a minute! Okay, wait, so- if he's bug paired with dragon, then we have room for a normal type. Being able to transform Arceus into a bug type meant that the incredibly common normal type was now available to be added. After looking over our normal types in the box, he decided to let me have my pick of whatever one I wanted. He was happy to roam with Rattata or Togepi if it meant giving me a little extra oomph. What we came up with was a little more awkward than that though. I don't know that I can actually evolve Eevee into Glaceon in this game, it looks like. Yeah, so you can take your pick, Taryn. You can have... I'll let you decide, because I would actually just run little palindrome without evolving without evolving him. That would get us our full team of six just in time for Claire. That might be the play, Taryn. So basically, I could have a ghost type with Gengar who's fast and hits like an absolute truck, but in exchange, he'd have to keep his Eevee and Eevee permanently. So basically, palindrome is just along for the ride so that I can use my ghost type. I'm gonna put Eevee out front so she can level up a little bit, or palindrome. And Eevee has to stay in Eevee is something I gotta try to remember, because if Eevee evolves, suddenly that pair doesn't work anymore. With that explanation out of the way, it's finally time to get our eighth and final gym badge from Claire. That's like a hand-me-down cape. Uh, Yo, what is this? What is whoa! this? What? Why are we starting with the exact same thing? That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm very confused and excited. <laughs> With Claire defeated, we still had some loose ends to tie up before we could challenge the league. I don't know what this guy is on about. Have I heard of Lugia? Have I heard of Lugia, Taryn? First was the Dragon's Den, and one of our final encounters for the playthrough. <gasps> flex! It's a flex! I'm so excited! Oh! My favorite! Oh, a rock type would be cool, too. Rock fighting pair. I would love a rock fighting pair. I would love a rock fighting pair. I would love a rock fighting pair. Oh my god! Oh yes! Oh my god, a yes! 
Rock fighting again, too. That's so good. That's so Oh my god, good. I love it. I got my fighting type, and I was I was saying, didn't I say we didn't have a rock type? Yeah. That's so good. Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> I'm so happy! Oh my god, that's the same Tarantar as far as I'm concerned. Yup. This was the literal dream pair for the two of us. Setting aside for a moment that my boyfriend finally got his coveted fighting type. Yo! Did you see Flex's Flex just now? I have never loved a Pokemon more than little Machop. Tarantar has finally graced us with her presence once more. And this was my chance to make it up to her for what happened last time. Oh! Now seems like as good a time as any to mention that we adjusted how trade evolutions worked in our playthrough. If you were scratching your head about how I was able to evolve Ghastly all the way up to Gengar, or how my boyfriend will turn his Machop into a Machamp, we set things up so that trade evolutions worked at level up. This was something many of you requested after I was stuck unable to evolve my Kadabra last playthrough. Granted, if we were on console, we technically would have been able to trade with each other to evolve these guys anyways, so I don't see a problem with it. It's happening! It's happening! Flex is evolving. Flex wants to evolve, Tan. Flex wants to evolve. He's asked to evolve. He has requested. Yeah, he he submit the necessary paperwork for an evolution. Very formal. Look at this thing. He oh. is amazing. Oh. He's so flexing. He's so flexible. With the dragon set at our backs, it was time to finally go after the box art legendaries of our respective games. Mom like told me to notice I have a freaking dinosaur walking behind me with <laughs> Terran Dar like brum, 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 through the living room. Just another day. Part of the reason I asked to play Soul Silver this time was because I didn't get to see Lugia last time. But had I known how much BS was involved getting down to him, I might have passed. Yeah, he has Surf and Whirlpool, so I just need to give him Waterfall. Seriously, I needed Surf, Whirlpool, and Flash. Well, my boyfriend needed, come again? Nothing. You just have to walk up stairs. Why do I have to have three different HMs? I didn't make the rules, Taryn. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's just something I'm noticing. Yeah, that seemed kind of BS, but whatever. With how stacked out our teams were, we really couldn't in good conscience ask for anything big from the game at this point. They're dancing. Look at the water. I've never seen this one. Isn't it cool? This is so cool. It's flying down in front of the water. I got a Raikou. Go to Red Jays. <laughs> <laughs> well, those two are going straight into the box. Off to Victory Road and the Indigo Plateau so we can finally get to the final four. Oh, it's I know it's your nemesis. <laughs> Don't let me look at that, Taryn. You know how I feel about those. Nice job, Splash. Ooh, ooh. Splash did it for Diglett. With my new Tarantar, I actually have two dark types now. And after a little discussion, we realized removing Umbra and Crobat will be no love lost for him, as it's just one less flying type. Yo! Tarantar wants to learn Earthquake! Hey, that's huge. Ah! In their place, we can bring back Gengar and Eevee so I could have a little extra punch on my team. The Stu viewer may have noticed something by now, though. And that's that Eevee doesn't actually need to stay in Eevee anymore. Did we talk about subbing out? Simple for uh, Gengar. Possibly. What would you have? The interesting thing, actually, is if we did that change, I could have my Eevee become oh, a simple. True. That would give me a much needed defensive option. Dark typing is now available, so he technically could evolve Palindrome into an Umbreon of his own. The benefit of this was less that he could have a dark type and more that Arceus could go back to its original normal typing. With that small change, he could completely decimate the Pokemon League with Stab, Silk, Scarf boosted Hyper Voices from the god of all Pokemon. The only problem is that Umbreon is a friendship evolution and Eevee has spent 85% of this playthrough boxed. Well, we're going in with an Eevee, Taryn. Okay. Maybe Eevee will evolve during the Elite Four mm. somehow. Like maybe I'll go up against a ghost type or something that can't hit it and then it'll evolve and then I can take the bug plate off of Arceus. Despite grinding Palindrome all the way up to the same level as the rest of the team while holding the Soothe Bell, Eevee still refused to evolve for him. As disappointed as he was, all we could do was hope that Palindrome would find some niche use case in the Elite Four as its base normal type. Okay. Okay. We got this. We've trained for this. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid anymore. 
Shump it. Classic spear, too. Oh, wow. What an opener. It's a too early to Dragon Pulse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, I'm already sending out a little Eevee, Terran. Look at that! Look! The Reed! The Yo, Reed, Terran! the Reed! Oh, he knows Sucker Punch. Okay. Gotta be careful. Let's go, Eevee. Let's go, Eevee! <laughs> Let's go, Eevee! That was so good. <laughs> okay, give him another bite, Eevee. If that's Eevee's only contribution in the entire league, I don't care. That was that was clean. <laughs> I'm bulky. I'm mm -hmm. a bulky. Bulky Pokemon. Bulky Pokemon. Nice solid damage. What kind of berry you got, bud? Citrus berry. Is this your ace by any chance, friend? Nice. Mantike? Oh my goodness, Terran. <laughs> Look at this little thing. Look at the little thing! <laughs> Stone Edge is cool too, but you're not gonna get that for a while. Having a good rock type is so good. So good. Terran Tar gets to be a Hall of Famer. Terran Tar! Terran Tar came back from last time. Hell yeah. He's in the no. Whoa! Just jumped it. Oh, a Chin Chow. Very interesting. Licky Licky is normal. normal type. Fighting's gonna get normal. <sighs> what do you hit a Chin Chow with? Hmm. I guess grass would be good, right? Oh, you know who I should go out to? Gengar. There you go. Come on, Vidi. Actually, I feel like Licky might have Veil a front or something. It went for a normal type attack, which was cool. You were immune. Mm -hmm. Damn, that magical leaf was solid just now. See you later, Chincho. Try to use disable. Interesting. If it disables that, you're gonna be kinda SOL. Mm hmm. Cresselia. Oh my lord. Okay. I'm getting a lot of psychic types, and I'm starting to get what we call buyer's remorse about Shadow Ball. Like, I'm thinking, hey, maybe I ought to teach Shadow Ball to something after all. <laughs> um. Okay, now that's scary. I'm gonna want to do something about that. Future Sight means it's not gonna miss whatever it's it is. It's gonna take two time. turns and then it's gonna hit me with a base 100 psychic attack. <gasps> the crit! The, the Eevee crit! got the crit! Eevee got a crit! So good! Ah! Okay, now I have to switch out because of Future Sight, for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. There's Lopunny. Switch to... Oh my god, Lopunny. Flex is gonna karate chop this thing. Oh, he lands it! He lands the revenge! Yo, Look at Flex! Go, Flex, go! Flex is my favorite. Oh, go, Flex, go! So proud. Proud parent. Let's try again. Oh, there's the crunch. Uh-huh. Oh, Flex like took that. the future sight attack, though. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Alright, Ratata. Yo, I'm staying in. Yeah. It's a Ratata turn. This is the easiest leaf for my life. Ratata. Yeah. That was the moment where everything kind of like fell into place again. And I got Jetstream. Oh! He's a poison type trainer. That's why he has black sludge on it. That makes sense. Oh. So it's just like leftover. Hoo ha! He did it Hoo -ha! again. <laughs> that never gets old. Uh oh. Doesn't matter what generation he does it. I always love when he says that. Charmander, thank God, but it's surfed. I just uh, used rest. <gasps> Amnesia, rest, brine. Oh, not, not a fun. fun set. Why does this thing no sweet set still? I feel like I haven't been doing this very optimally. Dude, I'm getting absolutely walled right now. Uh oh. By a wall rain. <gasps> Is that a crit? That was no! a crit! Go okay! Go okay! Okay! We're, the wall has fallen! <gasps> Buy him again? Dark Pulse. Nothing to be afraid of, Eevee. Nothing to be afraid of, Eevee. This is what Eevee was born to do. Oh, Eevee, you were so close. I don't want to do, like, just decimate everything with Arceus, but, like, come on. It's, it's fun. This is about having fun. Let him complain. Ooh, Eevee got a level. Eevee, if uh, you want to make my Eevee, day. Eevee. If you want to make my day, Eevee, after the fight, let's see an evolution. Taren. The final Pokemon for Bruno is a Cascoon. Oh my god! Bruno's packing heat! Yeah, Bruno, Bruno is uh, not messing around.
show up afterwards. <gasps> it's actually happening! It's happening! Oh my god! It's actually happening! I'm so excited! Oh my god. Totally planned, Taryn. 100% planned evolution. Oh, it's beautiful. I would name him it's Simple beautiful. if I wasn't in the middle of the Elite Four right now. Right. <laughs> that was so perfect. Let's do it. She's not messing around. She's got she the capris. A munchlax. munchlax. <laughs> hey, look, a munchlax. <laughs> what do I well, hit a munchlax? Fighting. With? I guess flex. Yeah, I'm gonna cross chop this munchlax into another. Universe. Time. Yeah, you are. Cross chop. Whoosh. Hit that thing with an earthquake or a mud bomb. She might have already used already. What? Oh, he has. He has nothing to touch. Touch a ground type. <laughs> he literally does it because he went for discharge. <laughs> oh, are we bullying the elite four, Terran? This, we this might feels kind of like bullying. We had one trainer left before we could take up the mantle of champion once more. But something even greater than that was on the line. Splash, Bronzer, and Tarantar all were robbed early from their chance to be Hall of Famers in previous playthroughs. And all because of me. Beating Lance was my chance to finally give them the recognition they deserved. Oh, it's like Munchlax is all grown up. Uh -huh. Yeah, he outspeeds me, so going for um, Earth Power is just not feasible. Yeah. Just gonna sit here and click. S oh! Yep. There we go. Good work. Good work, Arcus. Arcus. I think he's gonna heal. Yep. Oh, you fool. He heals. I go for the I go for the Thunder Wave. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lance. I'm gonna go for Ancient Power. Good work, really Splash. Lucky. That was really lucky. Lance, seriously? He just used a four store. Okay. Two Weedles! He had two Weedles? Yeah. Taren. Okay, wait, he's weak to steel now. He just changed to this. He, I'm getting outplayed by a cast. Oh my or... gosh. Okay, I can think of only one way to to end this. Uh huh. Hyper voice it. It goes for hydro pump. Okay, dragon dance shouldn't matter. <gasps> yeah, purge the non-believers. Purge the non-believers. Champions! Did we did it. And no one died this time. Nope. With that final victory, we can comfortably say the Johto region is conquered and our Pokemon are all champions. But our journey doesn't stop there. I'm speedrun this boat. You sure are. I was so cautious when it was just me and Dimple <laughs> against the world. There's still a whole region to tackle and some old friends to pay a visit. We made it. We made it to Kanto. We've already soul linked the Kanto gym leaders once before, and I remember them being pushovers. At least most of them. A Squirtle. A Groudon. Groudon! This is insulting. With another team of Pokemon, Groudon may have posed a bigger threat, but we're rolling with some serious power. There isn't that much a gym leader can throw out that makes us quiver, but of course they know how to hit us where it hurts. Wall rain. Oh no. Well, wait a minute. You've got something for no, that, No, I right? definitely do. I just, it's been an numbers. adversary in this journey. I feel like hypnosis is Yeah, the hypnosis play. is the play for sure. Yeah, he has Blizzard, he doesn't have Ice Ball, thankfully. I'm supposed to hit that, too. It's a pretty un inaccurate move. Yeah. Then I miss. Nice. Cool. It snored! It just- Oh, it has Rest and Snore? That's crazy. What is a snore? I've never it's seen- It's an attack you can only use while you're asleep. Are That's you kidding wild. me? That's nuts. I have never heard of this attack before. What the fuck? He tried to use Snore after it woke up. It's confused. Yeah, that wall rain has incredibly uh, fun.
funny setup. <laughs> it is like absolutely ridiculous. Gonna heal. Nice. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Somehow my steel frozen. bell is frozen. Wall range truly are the villain of all Nuzlocke. Shit. Yeah. I beat her. How did I get the ice off again? Wow, that's bad luck. Again? That's some insanely bad luck. And sometimes the ice thing freezes or flinches or. See, Jesus. Or flinched. Oh god. And now Sabrina uses her Fuller Star. Yep. Classic. I just am not out damaging the resting and the flinching and the. The freezing. And the freezing and then the missing and I got frozen the Oh third my god! Time. You got frozen three times? That's so. Yeah. Nice. So good. Should do a lot, if not just take him out right. No, we'll call. Oh, and it uses he goes blizzard. For blizzard. I told you, didn't I? You're oh my god! Me. Mm, oh. This was suggested to me. Oh no! That was Zapdos. Mm. That was Zapdos. <laughs> Ragged. It freaking read me. That was Arceus! Never mind! That was so much worse! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh no! Okay. And to another wall rain? To a fucking wall rain. Okay. Okay. So, we'll get through it. We always get through it, Tarny. Hey, and now he's getting sandstorm chipped as well. Well, I mean, look at how much that did. I think I think another rock slide and you're cold. Even if he wakes up this turn, you're faster. Oh, for God's sake. Hey, you're not faster, but two more rock slides, easy, right? Oh, okay. How can it avoid an attack when it's asleep? And <laughs> it's just going to immediately rest. It, it, that's what it's gonna do. Or she's gonna heal. No, 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 no. He's good. He's good. He's good. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Terratar, please put this thing out of. Put us out of our misery. Oh. <laughs> it's fine, Terran. It's fine. We'll figure it out. No, that was Jetstream. I and understand. Arceus. Okay. We're gonna go to the Pokemon Center. We're gonna look at the box. We have a whole region of encounters to go after, Terran. There could be any number of cool legendary in the grass, and you know what? You get you get top priority, okay? We came off that boat feeling large and in charge of the new champions, but Sabrina reminded us real quick how easy it is to slip up. Fortunately, there's an entire region of encounters to explore, so there's bound to be something to fill the power void that Walrein left behind. I can't believe it was another Walrein. That's the thing that makes me laugh. Like, at some point, you just have to laugh, Taryn. Like, what is it with Walreins? But literally, the first patch of grass we stepped in set the tone for exactly how the rest of the region encounters were gonna go. Oh, shit. Actually. Actually. <laughs> this game hates me. Oh my god. You found a Kyogre and I found a Toad. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's going in the box, right? It's just box fodder. Don't, don't even look at it is my, my suggestion to you, Terran. You know, just let it, let it exist, right? Yeah. Don't sweat it. It's, it's some power in the PC at the very least. <laughs> For you. <laughs> just, just, you know, ignore it, you know? Pretend it's like he's not even here, right? I mean, sunny side, that's not a bad pair, right? If something happens, God forbid, to Swampert and Akira, like, that's, we can do something with that. <laughs> Jack, now is not a good time. <laughs> After scouring the entire region of Kanto and being a good Samaritan just for the sake of getting new encounters, we looked at our box of Pokemon and started the negotiations. Salamence would be cool, but it's another flying type. I don't need more flying types, right? And I could hit ice with fire. A Turtwig is linked with Crobat. That's grass poison. We would have to get rid of Roserade and Magmar. Entei is linked to Gibble, that's Dragon Fire. We'd have to get rid of Rose Raid Magmar. So you could technically have Dragon Fire 
and poison grass and we have a full team of six again at the cost of one pair magmar and rose raid with the new team built we turned our attention back to the gym battles and this time we wanted revenge oh christ really you're kidding me i'm quad weak to ice too who do i hit him with flex come on flex yes He raised my attack, too, and I have guts with burn. That thing's going down in one shot. <gasps> Get that thing out of here! We're so do We're done! We're done with wall reigns, Taryn. We're done here. Done with wall reigns. Oh, that sucked. Well, can guts- is guts enough? Surely it's enough. Surely it's enough. It's enough! Yeah! It's enough! It's enough! It's enough! Get him out. Get him out of here. Go for another karate chop. We karate chop the Lapras. Karate chop the Is Lapras. it enough? Is it enough? It's oh! enough, Taryn! It's enough! Oh! Yes! Yes! I warned you not to show me any more wall reigns, didn't I? Yup. Magneton! We go again! We go. How many times we gotta teach you this lesson, Erica? <laughs> How many times? Magnet rise. We go for the revenge. Oh. It's enough, Karen. It's enough. Flex is done. He's done playing games. When we first stepped off the boat in Vermilion, we intended to challenge the gym leaders one at a time while opening up more of the region. Okay, let's go kick Brock's ass, and then it's Blaine, and then we're done. But with Kanto fully explored already, we were basically just flying from town to town picking off gym leaders. I like Brock. Oh, you son of a bitch. I don't like Brock after all. <laughs> oh, and I didn't teach him Earthquake. Oh, why didn't I teach him Earthquake? You know what? I, you know what time I think it is. I think I know what time it is. Today. You know what time I think it is. Yeah, this is what time it is. That's right. Doesn't feel so good when the shoe's on the other foot, huh? Yeah. Okay. You go ahead and you ancient power. You see what that does for you. There goes the Registeel. There he goes, Taryn. There he goes. Nice work, Tecton. Nice work, Tecton. That's what I'm talking about. I won't sugarcoat it. The two of us were getting extremely cocky and reckless with these later gym battles. The last Pokemon is a seal. And it's not an ice type yet, so... Almost 60 seal. <gasps> but it has ice beam. Oh my god, that was so close, Taryn. We've had a lot of near misses tonight. That thing's almost almost 60. Oh my god. But we get him right back. We get him right back. Tekton does not fall, Taryn. He shakes the very earth beneath him. That was spooky. I actually thought I was going to lose Tekton just now. I got so oh, upset. you would have been so upset. But to be fair, when you stomped six leaders in a row at 1 a.m., that's usually what starts to happen. Hey, you ever wonder what happens if you use, like, dig while Yawn's active? Like, do you fall asleep underground? Probably. I want to see what happens. He's just spamming Yawn and Amnesia. Oh, it, it did. It fell asleep underground. <laughs> Takes a nice I've never seen nap. that before. Yo, I beat him! With all 16 gym badges in our pockets, the only thing they left to throw at us was their greatest trainer of all. What is gonna be level 88? Yeah, that's what I'm most afraid of, so. Oh no. We scaled Mount Silver, ready to be done with this lock, and just praying that whatever Red's overlevel Pokemon randomized into wouldn't completely decimate our teams. <gasps> What's it gonna be on the edge of my seat? A oh, Whismur. Oh, Rion. Oh, that's gonna be tanky. Oh my lord. Ooh. That is gonna be one tanky, tanky boy. Oh my god, he has Hyper Voice? Holy shit. Okay. What resists that? I think Tekton can take a hit. 
another hyper voice. That's terrifying. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do I do to this thing? Okay, okay. We gotta go tanky. We gotta go tank. This thing hurts. Oh my god. Can you get paralyzed or something, please? Okay, okay. We, we ate that one. We ate that. We have something yeah. that can eat hyper voices, but oh my god, I gotta actually like heal everyone up. This is my Arceus is hyper voice. Now that it's being used against me, it hurts. He harshly lowered your defense, so I don't know if yeah. he has a physical attack, you know? Mm -hmm. But you could do a quick swap to like bronzer and then back. Yeah. Okay, now you're trapped, so you can't leave. Okay. So, and he's immune to Psychic. I know. So, you actually are in a really, really bad spot. This thing has not gotten paired once, Taryn. I am just getting, like, Umbreon's ears are bleeding right now. Oh. This thing, by the way, this thing has seen something. Look at its face. What a horrifying opener. And I'm really worried that he's going to heal right now. Because then it loses the para. <sighs> This has taken ages, but I can't really complain compared to what's going on <laughs> across from me right now. Thank God for the hail. It just roared me? Yo, it just roared out the perfect Pokemon to deal Yo! with this. This thing has so much health, Terry. Oh my, Flex just one shot at full <gasps> level 80. I mean, it was a Wizmer. Like, if that yeah, had been an x yeah. I'm not sure I would have handled that. Oh, Flex, you just saved the day. But we've still got five other Pokemon to deal with, my friend. A Mime Junior. Oh my god, it's a Mime Junior. Thank god. Mime Junior is down. Okay. Progress is being made. Yeah, that was probably the worst Pokemon for him to lead with, because it just walls. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're doing alright over here. You're just killing time right now. Yeah. Nice bite. Nice bite. Okay, I got two Pokemon left. Taryn's still on her first. Things are going well. <laughs> now might be a good Gyro Ball moment. I'm you know? thinking. Ugh. You had to go for it, though, right? Yep. Oh, but the hail's gonna take him out. Ha! He can't heal because of the hail. Nice! <laughs> Gyro Ball does less than the hail. Yeah. Meganium. Oh, this is Entei written all over it, Tan. <laughs> this is Entei. Like, this is what he was born to do. I think the hail might do the do the honors for me. <laughs> oh yeah, hail. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, so I'm done, and Taryn is still whittling this Umbreon. Man, Bronzer put up a hell of a fight just now. It's out. It's out. Okay, that's one down. What's, what's, one Pokemon what's, down. What's on the horizon? I still don't like it, but... It's all about keeping your health above zero, Taryn. Yep. Go work Splash. Yeah, because otherwise you're risking a crit, and yeah. you could definitely take him out from that health. 100%. There you go. Three down! Okay. Megahorn misses. Miss, 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 That's miss, big. Miss. Okay, okay. Now we can Shadow we can, Ball. We can Shadow Ball. We can Shadow Ball. It got greedy. Yup. Okay. Whew. Fingers living on the edge. Vivian! Good work. Good work. Get her out of here. Everyone is coming out with like 30 health. I know. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. Okay. Abra. Abra. Crunch it! 
I think it has two Pokemon left. Three, two, one, two, one, one, two. I think just one, right? Am I counting wrong? It's Magius. I had one of those too. You can crunch that. Okay, okay. So keep. Yeah. yeah it literally one, growled one. at me. It growled. <laughs> it's confused. It had spite, growl. Yeah, crunch it. Yeah, see spite. Like, it doesn't have anything really. I, th I feel like these random Pokemon are just really confused by being level 80. Yeah, but some of them, like Walrein, yeah. Rest, Snore, Walrein. Yeah. You just one shot it. You're done. Woo! You're done, girl. Woo! She's done. We be red. We be red. Good work, Taryn. Two successful soul links. Very proud, Taryn. And we didn't lose anybody. Another job well done. And it's 2 a.m. Classic. And with that, our second couple's Nuzlocke is completed. The road to victory certainly had its highs and lows, but no matter how tough things got, our souls remained linked from start to finish. So by the end of our journey, the final death tally was my boyfriend lost seven Pokemon, and I only lost two. Albeit, one of them was a really big one. Either way, this pair remains unbreakable. We did it! Woo, we did it! Oh my god. Okay. I could use some full restore. I could use full everything. Okay.